All right, this video is just kind of on the spot, just showing you a very interesting clip of a Westboro Baptist Church cult member openly saying that their goal is not to win souls to Christ, but rather just to tell them that God hates them, pretty much. And it's in blatant contradiction to some scriptures I'm going to point out after I show this clip. But you're going to see the clip for yourself, uh, not taking it out of context. This is from a documentary, an excerpt from a documentary called Most Hated Family in America by the BBC. And the this I think she's now the Westboro Baptist spokesman. Where this this was made back in two thousand six, so they've been they've been saying this kind of stuff for quite a while. But she openly says, you know, oh, you think our you think our goal is to win souls to Christ? You know, like mockingly. And they actually make fun of the, the concept of winning souls to Christ. Why? Because it's a cult. If you don't join them, you're lost, pretty much. And they've even condemned other Calvinists who don't believe like them and, and who denounce them. So, here's a clip for yourself. You have to see it to believe it. It's insane. Watch this. Do you think it's possible that by getting in people's face, faces in this way, you're more likely to put people off the word of Jesus Christ and the Bible? Ugh. Have you thought about that just in terms of human psychology? You think our job is to win souls to Christ. All we do by getting in their face and putting these signs in front of them and these plain words is make what was already in their heart come out of their mouth. Yeah. That's the fruit. Of, that's that's the kind of fruit that comes out of Calvinism, right there. And again, many Calvinists may reject Westboro, but this is the kind of stuff Calvinism produces. This is the kind of mentality they produce. Now, is is this in line with Scripture? I want to point that out because Westboro Baptist Church, they're they're and they they take Calvinism to the I mean, they take Calvinism to the to an extent that even John Calvin himself would not take it. Uh, but is this in line with Scripture? Oh, we're not trying to win souls to Christ. Really? Acts chapter 17, verse 30. In the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Seems that God says otherwise. Uh, where is it? Acts chapter 20, verse 21. Testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks. Repentance towards God and faith toward Jesus Christ. It's faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. Sorry, not good at reading on my computer. Uh, not telling them God hates them, but repentance towards God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what's being preached there. Uh, Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and being converted, that your sins may be, may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. They're telling them to repent. Not, none of these examples, you see them telling them, oh God hates you, you're going to burn in hell, you're, you're this, you're that. No, they're telling them to repent. They're preaching the gospel to them. But Westboro Baptist Church, they don't do that because they're just a hyper-Calvinist cult that condemns everybody to hell but doesn't believe like them. Even other Calvinists like John MacArthur are going to hell because they don't believe like Westboro, pretty much. I wanted to point that out. So shocking admission from Westboro, but not surprising because this is the fruit of Calvinism for you right here. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.